How's it going guys? Chips here with you again, back with another ARC Let's Build video, and in today's video we're going to be building this Featherlight pen that you see in front of you now. And my goal for this build was to get something that looked sort of like a chicken coop, so hopefully we accomplished that. And for those of you who are new to the channel, this is going to be a step-by-step -step walkthrough video with real easy to follow along instructions so you can get this build on your ARC. And make sure you hit show more on the description below so you can get a full list of building materials as well as the map cords where I built this. And all of the decorations as well as the paint scheme were done by another YouTuber whose name is You Were a Monkey. I'm going to leave a link to her channel below. Make sure you go check her out and show her some love. But anyways, guys, with all of that said, I just want to tell you thank you for being here today, checking out the video. And let's go ahead and let's get to building. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is obviously lay down our foundation. So for this build, we're going to be making a 3x4 wooden foundation. So we'll go ahead and get out a wood foundation and add just a row of 3 right here. And then we're just going to add three more rows in front of that. And then there you go. As simple as that, that'll make up our foundation. Now for this build, we are not going to be switching these to blocks. So just leave them as they are. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and start laying down some pillars. So first on whichever side is going to be the front of your build, we're going to come into this left corner and place a wooden fence foundation right here on the edge of this foundation. Then on the outside corner, we're going to go ahead and add a stone pillar and two wooden pillars. And on the other side of that snap point, we're going to add a stone pillar and three wooden pillars. We'll go over here to this right foundation and add another fence foundation on this edge right here. Then on the outside corner, we're just going to add one stone pillar. And on the inside snap point, we're again going to add a stone pillar and two wooden pillars. So then you can just go to the other side of the build and duplicate this over here, just mirroring what we did on the front. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and lay down our first layer of walls. So we're starting here on what is gonna be our front in this left corner. We're gonna go ahead and place down a stone wall right here, just like that. Next, right here, we're going to place a stone door frame and fill that in with a reinforced door. And then we'll just add one more stone wall right here. Now, if it's placing like this, you may need to rotate the snap point because right now it's trying to place on the fence foundation. So just go ahead and rotate the snap point and then you'll have it right here where you can place it on the actual foundation. So just like that. Coming over to this side between our two one high pillars, we're just going to add a greenhouse wall on each of these foundations. Here on the back side, we're going to start off by placing a stone wall right here. We're going to place a stone door frame right here, but we are not going to fill that in with a reinforced door. And then we'll add another stone wall right here. And over here on this side, we're just going to add stone walls all the way across. Next, we're going to come back in here to our front side and right above those stone wall we placed right here, we're going to add a thatch ceiling. We'll place another one right here and another one right here. So just like this, we're going to skip this side that has the greenhouse and come over to the back and do the same thing right here. And then we'll also do the same thing over here on this side that has our stone walls. Now again on our front, we're going to head into this left corner again, and we're going to get out a wooden wall, just like this. Now we're going to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for the system you're playing on, so that we get something that looks like this. So go ahead and place that down, and this is what we're looking for. We want it to look like that. So we're going to add another one right here, doing the same thing. And then right here, we're going to go ahead and get out a sloped wooden wall left, and again, rotate the snap point and place it down just like this. Now we're gonna head over to our back side here. And on this first spot, we're going to use a sloped wooden wall right, and again, rotate the snap point. And then we'll add two more wooden walls in these spots doing the same thing. Over on this side, we're just gonna take a wooden wall flipped around and do that on each spot. Now you can go ahead and destroy all of those thatch ceilings. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and start building up our walls on the inside. So we'll head inside here and we're going to start on the left side over here. 
We're gonna skip one foundation in and place two high wooden walls right here. And you want the dark wooden side facing you. In the next spot, we're gonna add a stone double door frame and a wooden wall on top of that. And we'll do the same thing right here. Now we're gonna head inside of this and on this inline right here between where we have the wooden walls and that stone double door frame, we're just gonna add one more wooden wall. And then right here on this inline, we're gonna add two wooden walls. Then we're gonna come to the front of this and we're gonna go ahead and place two high wood double door frames right here. Again, with the dark wood inside facing us. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the right side. So we're gonna go ahead and get out a stone double door frame and we're gonna place one of these on each of these foundations going across. Then on top of those, we're just gonna place a wooden wall. Now we'll come inside of these and on each inline right here, we're gonna place a wooden wall and then a sloped wooden wall left. And this will make up the walls for the inside of the build. All right, so now we're gonna come in here to this side where we have the greenhouse walls and we're gonna go down to the foundation and place a thatch ceiling in front of each of these foundations, just like this. Then we're gonna go ahead and get out a stone door frame and we're again going to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system. And then we are going to flip the snap point again using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system and then just place it down just like this. Now go ahead and do that on the other three as well. Then once you have those placed, you can just go ahead and destroy these thatch ceilings. Now on this side where we have our greenhouse walls, we're gonna come into the top of them and we're gonna fill in this portion with sloped metal roofs. So we'll place one right here like this and we'll just continue taking these across this side. Now we're gonna come in here to this back left corner where we have this kind of box right here. And we're gonna fill in the top of this with a wooden ceiling. And you wanna make sure it's placing like this so it fits nice and snug in there. Then on the front of that, we're gonna go ahead and place a wooden stair. And we'll add one more to get us down to the ground. Then you can just go ahead and switch both of those to ramp. Now we're just gonna go ahead and fill in the remainder of this ceiling with wooden ceilings, leaving only these two spots open. Now again, when you go to place these, make sure you may have to rotate the snap point so that we get it placing like this. Now with all of those placed, we're gonna go ahead and place a wooden railing right here. Now you wanna make sure you rotate the snap point again to give you this snap point. It's gonna be light blue. And we're gonna do the same thing over here and over here as well, just to kind of box in our staircase so nobody falls down it. All right, so next we're gonna start building up our second level of walls. So first right here on the front on this left side, we're gonna go ahead and get out a wooden window frame. And we're again going to rotate the snap point using whichever key is appropriate for your system so that we have something that looks like this. Then you can go ahead and fill that in with a greenhouse window. And then we're going to add the appropriate sloped wooden wall on top of that. On this right hand side right here, we'll do the exact same thing. Now over here on the side where we have our sloped metal roofs, we're going to go ahead and place a wooden window frame again right here. Again, rotate the snap point to get this right here and fill that in with a greenhouse window. And we're going to do this on all spots on this side. Now coming over here to the back side, in this spot right here, we're going to place a wooden door frame. Again, rotating the snap point and fill that in with a wooden door. And then the add the appropriate sloped wooden wall on top of that. And then right here, we'll again place another window frame, greenhouse window, and the appropriate sloped wooden wall. On this side over here, we're again just going to take wooden window frames all the way across. 
And again, we will fill those in with greenhouse windows. Now we can just go ahead and fill in this topmost roof again with sloped metal roofs. All right, next we're gonna come to our back side and we're gonna come in here to this stone wall and place a wooden ladder on it. Then we're going to climb up on that wooden ladder and get out a wooden fence support. Go ahead and then jump off. And this is going to allow us to place that fence support perfectly straight. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over to this pillar right here and we're just gonna place it kind of dead in the middle of the pillar and just a little bit so it's just barely peeking out of the pillar. So just like this. Then we're gonna go ahead and add one more coming out from that. Straight in line with the one we just placed. So just like this. Then we're gonna go ahead and turn the corner and place another one heading in this direction. Place one more in line with that. And then we'll turn back towards our build, placing one like this, and then one more to get us to this other pillar. If it doesn't place right for some reason, just go ahead and pick that up and place it again. So there we go, just like that. Now we're gonna go ahead right here on the corner. We're going to add a stone pillar and then we're going to add two wooden pillars. We'll do that again on this corner right here. Then we're gonna to come to any side and we're going to place a stone railing right here at the bottom and just go ahead and do that all the way around. Then we are going to add four high wooden railings on top of those. And then on top of those wooden railings, we are gonna go ahead and place one more line of stone railings. Next, we're gonna come to the top here in front of our wooden door, and we're just gonna place a wood ceiling coming out from it, and then add one more right here, and go ahead and do the same thing right here in front of our window. All right, so now we just have a few more small things we need to do. So first here on the front side of our build, we're gonna come in front of this door right here and place down a wooden stair, and we're then gonna switch that to ramp because we kinda wanna have the appearance of like a chicken coop where you'd have the ramp to get you up in. We'll then head through to the back side of our build and we're just gonna do the exact same thing in front of this door frame here. Then we're gonna go ahead and again climb up on this ladder and this time we're gonna get out a feeding trough and jump down and we're just gonna place that right here, right in front of the ladder, just kinda square on this wall. So just like that. All right guys, so that is gonna do it for the building portion of this video. Now for the paint scheme and the decorations, You Were a Monkey is gonna go ahead in here and work her magic on that. So guys, hang around for one more second and I'll kind of briefly show you what she comes up with. All right guys, so like I said, You Were a Monkey has come in and hooked us up with an awesome paint job and some great decorations. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of real quickly show you what she's done here. But guys, again, make sure you go check out her video, which I've linked in the comment below for a full tour of her work on this build and go ahead and show her some love for all the hard work she does making our builds look awesome. So we'll go ahead and we'll just check it out guys.
All right, guys, so that is going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the build. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope it was easy for you to follow along and get this build on your arc. Guys, if you did enjoy the build in the video and you haven't already, do me a favor and hit that like button. Those help my videos get out there, which helps the channel grow. Go ahead and leave me some feedback in the comments below on what you think. And of course, if you're new to the channel, go check out some other builds. And if you like what you see, subscribe for future ARC Let's Build videos. And also guys, if you did end up using this build, feel free to check out the description below for links to my social media and go ahead and hit me up on one of those platforms with pictures of this build on your ARC. And guys, I will once again say a big thank you to You Are A Monkey for decorating the build. Guys, make sure you go show her some love. She's super close to 100 subscribers, so let's go ahead and help her get over that mark. But anyways, guys, with all of that said, I just once again want to tell you thank you so much for being here today, checking out the video, and have a great day.